All right, so lesson 36 is on subtracting fractions and mixed numbers from whole numbers. This problem we have subtract 5 minus 1 and 2 thirds. And it says to write a word problem. So this first part we're going to do 5 minus 1 and 2 thirds. Now we can't take something away from nothing, so we'll need to borrow from the 5 to get a fraction. So we're just going to rewrite the whole thing on this side. So the 1 and 2 thirds will stay the same. And it's still going to be subtracting. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow from the 5. The 5 will become a 4. So we'll put our 4 over here. Now I have to figure out what fraction I'm going to turn that one whole that we borrowed into. So what, when we decide what fraction that'll be, we look at the fraction that is given to us. Okay. So our denominator is th in thirds. So we will want to write our fraction in thirds so we can easily subtract. So the denominator will be 3 and we know that if we, to turn a fraction, a fraction to equal 1 has to have the same number on the top and the bottom. So it's going to be 3 and 3 thirds, or 4 and 3 thirds, excuse me. Now we can subtract the two amounts. So 3 thirds minus 2 thirds is 1 third, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So my answer is 3 and 1 third. Okay, this next one is 10 minus 2 and a half. Again, let's write this out. 10 minus 2 and 1 half. Make sure to stay in the correct place value. And so again, we need to borrow from the 10. 10 becomes a 9. So it's going to be 9. And then our fraction will have to have the same denominator as the one given. So it's going to be 9 and 2 halves minus 2 and 1 half. When we subtract 2 halves minus 1 half is 1 half and 9 minus 2 is 7. So my answer is 7 and 1 half. This last one is one that only has a fraction and a whole number. So again let's line it up. So we have 2 minus 1 half. Make sure to keep your place values in the correct spot. I don't have a fraction over here, so I'll need to borrow from the 2. 2 becomes a 1, and we're going to put in fourths. Okay, so, my, so we're going to change it to 1 and 4 fourths minus 1 fourth. So my answer will be 1 and 3 fourths. 1 and 3 fourths, and that's everything. Good luck on your homework.